What's going on guys? Welcome back to Ride Razor. My name is Austin and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a decade. Alrighty, so before we get into the steps on how to do a decade, let's talk about a couple things that you guys need to know ahead of time. First things first, obviously you need to know how to do a tail whip. I would recommend being a tail whip expert. And the second thing that I recommend you guys having locked down before trying a decade is a 360. If you have tail whips down and you have 360s down, learning a decade should be pretty much as easy as it can be. Okay, so let's quickly go over what exactly a decade is. Essentially, you will hop, leave the deck in place, so the deck will actually never leave the position that it's in, but you and the bar are going to do a full 360 degree spin while the deck stays in place. You're essentially spinning completely around the deck and then landing on it. It's very similar to a 360 down whip. However, on a 360 down whip, you actually meet the tail whip halfway. Or with this trick, the deck stays in place at all times. So you and the bar does a full 360 degree spin and then you land right back where you started. Okay, so if I was relearning decades, what I would do is find a quarter pipe or a bank that I feel comfortable doing all my favorite fly out tricks out of and approach it just like I would with a tail whip maybe a downside tail whip, you're not gonna need too much speed or too much air, just enough that you guys feel comfortable throwing a trick for the first time. So you guys are gonna want to approach that ramp that you guys feel comfortable doing all your tricks out of, you're gonna wanna compress for your bunny hop. Once you guys approach the top of the ramp, decompress, hop, and just like you normally would to do any other trick, you're gonna hop and start to spin around. However, you're not gonna kick the deck out. Uh, a big thing that I do, and I'm sure a lot of other people do when they do decades, you actually keep your eyes on the deck for a majority of the trick. So as soon as you hop and you start spinning around, I like to just keep my eyes locked on the deck as I come all the way around, just so I can spot my landing and roll away. You don't wanna compress, hop, keep the deck in place, use all your momentum to get spinning around the deck, and obviously, just dialing that motion on the ground because it'll make it 10 times easier in the air. Keeping your eyes on it so you guys can spot the landing as soon as you come around. Once you see the deck, try to get one foot on it in the beginning. Once you can get one foot on it pretty consistently, you guys can practice getting two feet on it. And after that, you should have the trick dialed in. Alrighty, so now that we went over how to do the trick, let's talk about where to do the trick. I mentioned it earlier in the video, but if I was relearning decades, I would relearn those at the skate park. I would find a nice bank or a quarter pipe that I feel comfortable doing all my favorite tricks out of and pretty much just learn it there. Some people might wanna learn it flat. If you do, that's totally fine. If you guys wanna learn it out of a bank because you can get a little bit more air, it's totally up to you. And just like that, you know how to do the trick and where to do the trick, I think it's time to go try a few. 